All right, guys, in this video, we're going to make it so that we can update our moved or dragged markers. Right now, if we move one and reload, it doesn't stick. We also want to be able to delete them. All right, so let's start with the update. So we know that this marker drag end is what takes care of that whole functionality. And down at the bottom here, we created these variables for the new latitude and new longitude. Now we're going to just pass them into a service function. So we're going to say this dot marker service dot update marker, which we haven't created yet. And then we're going to pass in here that UPD marker object, as well as the new lat and the new launch. All right, because essentially we want to get that marker and then just update those values. All right, so let's save that and then we're going to go into our service. And down here, we'll say update marker. Okay, and we know that this is going to take in uh, three values. So first, we'll say marker. And then we have our new lat and new launch. Okay, and then first thing we'll do here is we need to fetch the markers just like we did here. And then what we need to do is loop through them. So let's do a for loop. So for var i is equal to zero. And then we want to say as long as i is less than markers dot length. All right. And then we need to increment by one. So i plus plus. And then we want to do an if statement to, to see if um, the marker that's being iterated through matches the one we need to update. So we'll say if, and in here we're going to say if marker dot lat is equal to markers and then the current iteration. So we want to throw in that I dot lat and we want to make sure the longitude matches as well. So marker dot LNG is equal to markers I dot LNG. All right, so if that's true, then we want to update them to the latest to the new latitude and new longitude. So markers I dot lat is going to equal that new lat value. All right, and then we'll do the same thing with the longitude. Right. And then we just need to set it again, just like we did up here. So let's just grab that, copy it. And we want to make sure that we go outside of the for loop and then we'll paste that in. All right. So that should take care of it. Let's save it. Okay. Should reload. All right, now let's take this one in Haverhill and just move it up here and then we'll reload and it stays. Okay, so we can now update. If we want to move it back, reload and it stays. So the next thing we want to do is we want to be able to delete these. Okay, so what we're going to do is add a delete link inside of the info window. So let's go to our app component HTML. And let's see, we're going to go here into the window. And then right under this strong tag with the name, I'm going to put a line break. And then we're going to put in uh, a tag, an A tag. I'm going to give it a class of delete. And let's add a click event. Okay, text will just say delete. So when it's clicked, it's going to run remove marker and we're going to pass in that M value. All right, so let's save that. OK, so that should add the link. OK, and obviously it's not going to do anything yet. We need to create that remove marker. So let's go to app component TS. And let's go down under add marker. And we'll say remove marker. OK, 
Okay, so that's going to take in marker. And then let's just do console.log. We'll say removing marker. Okay, let's make sure that works. So if we go and we click delete down here, you see we get removing marker. So we need to do a loop for loop. And so we're going to say var i equals zero. And then as long as i is less than this dot markers, and we want i plus uh, plus. Let's see, why is that? Oh, dot markers dot length. And then we're going to do an if. So this is much like what we just did in the in the update marker inside of the service. We're going to say if marker dot lat is equal to this dot markers current iteration dot lat and marker dot launch is equal to this dot markers current iteration dot launch. All right, so if that's true, then we want to splice it out. We're going to say this dot markers dot splice, and then we just want to pass in I and one. All right, so let's go ahead and save that. Now, if I go and we try to and we do delete, it does go away. But if I reload, it's going to come back because we're just doing it temporarily in the UI. If we want to do this uh, in the local storage, we're going to have to use a service function. So let's go outside of the for loop and we'll say this dot underscore marker service dot remove marker. And then we're just going to pass in marker. OK, so we'll go to our service and create that. OK, it's going to take in a marker. And we're basically going to do the same thing we did up here. So I'm going to copy all of this. And then paste that in. And uh, what we want to do different is we're going to take this out. And then we will just want to do a splice. So markers dot splice, just like we did in the front end. Our markers dot splice pass in I and one. All right. And we'll splice that out and then we're going to set it again. So let's save. OK, so let's go to this Haverhill one and we'll click delete goes away, reload and it stays gone. All right. So our application is now complete. So hopefully you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next project.